put forward a very ambitious agenda to help uh, municipalities and provinces build the necessary infrastructure, public transit, uh, housing, recreational facilities, investment into uh, into green infrastructure. Uh, we will invest more than $180 billion over the next 12 years. Uh, provinces have their own plan, municipalities have a, their own, own plan. So there's a lot of investment happening. But despite that, there's a huge infrastructure deficit in our country that we need to leverage to do more. And that's why we want to engage with private sector. That's one. The other need for the bank is to create the capacity and the and center of expertise that will uh, look at best practices in uh, uh, in procurement, in design, and uh, and the delivery of uh, uh, infrastructure, regardless which method is uh, is used, and also build the capacity of the municipalities and the province to engage with the private sector at a in a, in, in an equal way that way where, where they feel comfortable that they're going to be uh, reaching the best deal possible on behalf half of the uh, the taxpayers they represent the infrastructure that we support uh, federal government does not own that infrastructure is owned by the municipalities and is owned by the provinces so the 98 percent of the infrastructure in in Canada is owned by other than uh, uh, other other organizations other than the federal government. So pricing issues or tolls and uh, uh, other fees is not something that federal government will determine. It's up to uh, the uh, the project proponents and project owners. Our role is to add uh, additional tool in the toolkit that is available to us. Uh, 180 billion dollars over 12 years. Uh, a, you know, vast majority of that is grant money and will still be uh, grant money. Only 8% of that is going toward, uh, uh, towards the bank. And uh, so that will provide an additional tool where uh, grants may not work or a combination of grants and, uh, and capital may work. But as far as pricing is concerned, that is not the decision that federal government uh, makes. It's up to the proponents uh, uh, of, the, of the infrastructure to decide. Transparency is uh, is fundamental in uh, in whatever we do. So uh, whenever we engage private sector or any particular project uh, in uh, in partnership with our uh, municipal and provincial uh, uh, partners, uh, uh, the the project will be made public and the participation of the uh, uh, of the private sector proponents will also be, be be made public. This is part of our accountability that we want to be accountable to Canadians on uh, how we engage with the private sector. Innovation is uh, is very big as part of our efforts to grow our economy and create jobs and uh, strengthen our middle class. Uh, and that is the reason that we launched the Smart Cities Challenge, uh, challenge sorry, which I spoke about. Uh, and the, uh, the goal of that challenge will be to actually challenge our municipalities to be more innovative and creative and, uh, and uh, you look at the use of a technology uh, 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 to better move people, better move goods and services and, uh, uh, and, and monitor and, and data monitoring and use of the data to actually uh, uh, facilitate whether it's uh, uh, the, the better signal systems in the city or uh, monitoring of the water supply or uh, uh, the, uh, and many other services that cities, uh, cities provide. In the, in the delivery of infrastructure, innovation is definitely something that we are focused on, whether it's uh, encouraging more innovative construction practices, whether it's uh, you know, uh, low impact construction, whether it's uh, innovative financing, which is part of the infrastructure bank, uh, or, uh, or, or the, uh, or, uh, the uh, expertise that has been developed by P3, uh, P3 Canada, and other uh, organizations. So I think what, I, what we want to focus on is the, uh, the availability of tools and avenues and ways of building infrastructure, and, uh, and innovation will be undercutting all those areas. Mm -hmm.